Hey guys, I am here in New York City and it's so funny, I was like, <laughs> I just asked this girl, I was like, can you come forward with the camera? She's like, oh, I don't know how to do it. I'm like, I know, I'll teach you. She's like, okay, fine, I have two seconds. I was like, oh fuck, it's so crazy. But I'm here in New York City and I'm back in America just to let you guys know, talking to you about another topic that's gonna help you with the ladies. And the topic that I'm talking about is, <clears throat> How do you be present when you're with women? How do you be present when you see a woman? When you stand in front of her in conversation? How do you begin to be present with women out there in the world when you see them whatever location that you see them? The journey to that or becoming present with women is a very difficult journey I think because it's not just about when you see a woman being present just going up to her just looking at her and going. It's not about that. It's so much internal shit that you must learn the foundation of presence. The foundation of presence is breath. Being able to be in your body, being able to have your breath as your focus point. And the more you're able to have your breath as your focus point, you're gonna be able to move through the world with more presence. When you meet a woman, you're gonna be able to be in front of her and be completely present to what's going on. Just to tell you, this is what I believe. I believe the most attractive thing to a woman, if she has a feminine heart, a feminine core, is presence. The most beautiful thing to her. Because it allows her to be her most blossoming self. Men are always wondering, how can I get a woman to be her most beautiful self? How can I get a woman to be her most sexy, sexual self? You must be able to give her the presence to go deep within herself. A woman going deep within herself is totally in relation to the man that's in front of her. If the man in front of her is not deeply present, if he's not present with her, he'll only go to a certain extent to how deep she'll go in her femininity. Because however deep you are in your masculine, you attract a woman who's as deep in her feminine. Which means you attract a woman who's as open and expressive and sexual as you are in being able to be directed, fixated and completely still within. The, 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 the reciprocal uh, interest that men and women have always is a match. It's just like always. <clears throat> As a woman is yearning for a heart to be open, a man will be, so to speak, searching for a woman who can relax him into his presence, that can relax him more. Softness that can relax him. But if you want a woman that's soft, you must be willing to give her the thing that's gonna allow her to be able to be soft, which is a man who's completely and utterly present. One of the ways that I would say for a man to start being present with women is first, start being present to life. And in my other video, I'll talk about be present to the feminine at large if you wanna be present to a woman in front of you. It'll make it easier. Start to be present to life. Start to be present to the movement of this. Start to be present to what you're doing in this moment. Start to be present to you writing. Start to be present to you typing. Start to be present to when you're eating an apple. Be present to life and be mindful of what you're doing all the time. 100% of focus on whatever you're doing moment to moment. This makes it so much easier for you to be present to women. One of the things that a woman cherishes this, cherishes <clears throat> is a man who's completely present to her who's able to forget about herself <clears throat> and be so in the moment with her that she forgets about herself. Because she's thriving on your presence. Most women are not evolved enough. Most women on earth, 99% of women on earth are not evolved enough to be able to evoke a man's presence. Honestly, they're not. Walk around the, walk around the streets in a day and actually see how many women are actually walking around that are radiant. Really, notice it. As you're walking around, see how many are actually how many women are actually radiant as they walk around. Very, very few. And the ones who are, they're either in love or they're in a relationship and they're in love. And that's so you so you get it? They're in love. Because a woman in love is radiant. And a woman she gets she's like, until I find a man, I can't be uh, happy. And that's not how she's gonna find a man who's good for her. The way for her to find a man that's good for her is for her to be radiant so she can evoke deep integrity from a man, evoke deep presence. 
that's going to be able to give her the leverage she needs to go into her heart. The leverage she needs to blossom is by attracting a man who's deep in his presence by her being radiant. So for you to be able to attract the radiance out of a woman who's walking around like this, or walking a woman who's walking around just a normal fucking blank bitch face, or just a blank face that's not openness, it requires you being present. And you being able to cut through all of her moods with just your presence. You being able to be still to all her changing emotions. From the moment you see her, just be still to all her present emotions. All of them. Somebody, somebody just threw ice from a car <laughs> and tried to hit me in the face. <clears throat> but be present to all her changing emotions, all of them. And through that, you'll be able to see her fullness. So start being present to the feminine at large. Start being present to just walking around and being present to life. The next thing I will say do is stay with the experience when you see the woman. So how do you stay with the experience when you see the woman? Be so fixated on the woman when you see her that you forget that you're even feeling any, anything inside, really. So when I see a woman, I completely put all my focus on a woman. She's the only woman that matters. Now I know that she's the only woman that, that matters. I completely focus on her and I stay with the experience of her. I'm able to get insight about her. I'm able to see, okay, this is what she's like on the outside, but I can see insight into, okay, she walks like this. And she's walking, she's walking with a bag. I know that right now, her face is blank, but I can see that she's kind of talking and she's moving her mouth, which means she's probably rolling through something in her mind. I get insight into the girl, so I'm able to go up to her and know exactly what to say. Many guys are like, what do I say? Focus on the woman and, she, and you will know exactly what to say. Stay with the experience when you see her. As you're walking up to her, allow yourself to completely stay with the experience. Be completely there as you're walking up to her. Completely there. Nothing at all pertur uh, perturbing you from the moment. Completely staying there with her. So, as you see the girl, the movements are this. I'm already present to life. I'm moving around, I'm in my body, I'm already present to life. Now I see the woman and I go. And I walk up to her. When I walk up to her, I'm focused on her completely, which means now that I'm focused on her, I get insight into her. I see her from head to toe. I see the way she's dressed, the way she moves. Is she's organized? Is she's like this? Did she just get her hair cut? What is the look in her face? Is she somebody that's present to life? Is she open? These are all things that I'm noticing as I'm walking up. And as I'm noticing that, I completely stay with it. So when I go up and I give a compliment, it's genuine, it's from this moment, and she feels the full effect of it. Now we're moving into conversation, what do I say now? What do I do? These are all the questions that cross men's mind all the time, instead of just staying fucking here and just trusting themselves, which is incredibly hard to be honest. So some training wheel ways for you to be able to go up to and stay present is when you feel your mind going astray, come back to your breath. The number one thing I say to a guy on workshop, when he's on workshop, this is so cool, it's so cool, I love it. So what happened in there? He goes, this happened, this happened, this happened. Because I heard him on the mic, and I go, <clears throat> so in this moment, why did you think that you have to say this? He said, because man, I started thinking about what should I say? And I go, what do we talk about breath? He's like, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Another guy, he walked in and he's like, man, I just, what do I say? And I go, I'm not gonna tell you, Come to your breath and lock in with your intention. Your breath allows you to lock in with the thing that's there. Breathe deep and full, you'll be able to lock into it, then go. And he goes, all right, well, what do I say when I get there? Your intention will let you know. A guy comes out and he's like, yeah, man, I just ran out of things to say. I said, yeah, you did. So why did you feel you have to say that? Yeah, because I, don't, I, was, so scared, I was scared of losing her attention. I go, you have to understand it's a two-way street. Hold space. How do you hold space? Be with your breath. And there's moments where you run out of things to say. That is natural for a conversation. It's fucking natural. Don't be afraid of those moments. <sighs> I hope you guys are able to take what I said in this video to heart. Go out there and be able to be present with women before you see them. When you see the woman, stay with the experience. Don't look away. Don't look this way. Just look this, don't look this way or that way. Stay with the experience. Walk all the way up to her as you're there. Say what you need to say, roll with what's inside of you, be present, and what you'll notice is that uh, 
the right thing comes to you. In my other videos, I'll talk more about conversation. So if you really want to know how to have conversation, go to my video on how to talk to women. But besides that, this is the foundation. The foundation is presence. The foundation is breath. And when you're able to come to breath, everything changes. This is Sunny Solo for the Natural Lifestyles. I want you guys to subscribe below to Essence of Solo. I'm in New York City, I'm in America until January. If you want to do coaching with me, go to the Natural Lifestyles website, go to the contact page, put in that inquiry, and I will be there waiting for you. Sean will get back to you, and you'll see. Are you ready for the Tony Solo juice, baby? I'm out. Your boy's out. I'm out.